No one else knows it, but I'm racing. I don't think the uh, diesel that's in the fuel filter is supposed to look like dark soda. I think this would be an incredible place if it wasn't spring break. We are the Davidsons. Join us for a glimpse into the crazy life we live and the adventures we are having. Seven and a half knots. 17 knots of wind. Before leaving the Punta San Basilio area, I got one last free dive in with the spearing master, Cody Shi. Although I don't personally have a spear gun, it is still fun to hop in the water with my camera and explore around. Watching Cody in action definitely has me wanting to pick up a new hobby of spearfishing. We've got a big day today. I'm up pretty early because we're gonna get out there and do about 45 miles. I get real excited when we're off to new things. I like being at the anchorages and relaxing, but there's just something about the adventure of it, the uh, unknown, the excitement going off into these places that you haven't been before. And that's what we're doing today, and I like it. Well, this has been quite the smooth ride up to Bahia Concepcion. It was really flat, not a lot of wind today, so we just motored hard. Yeah, ultimately smooth and an enjoyable ride. We're about 40 minutes away. We're gonna pull in and get anchored. After a long day on the boat, we are all screaming for a good run on the beach to stretch our legs. It seems like this lifestyle for Skylar has endless playgrounds for her imagination to run wild. Skylar and I are out for a little morning paddleboard. What are we looking for? Dolphins, yeah. What do we find up here? Birds. Birds on the rocks. That's fun. And the new beach? Yeah, let's go to the beach. Is that them flying away? Off to a new anchorage and we're doing seven knots in about 13 knots of wind. This is awesome. We're coming up on a boat right now and I may or may not have put myself in a race. No one else knows it, but I'm racing. It's a light wind race. The wind died out. We're doing three knots right now and like five knots of wind. I put up the code zero, the big sail, and we're catching up to these guys. They're a heavy blue water boat, so we're gonna fly past them here in a second. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we got a gust of seven knots, so now we're doing four. We're about to do the overtake. We made it to Playa Coyote. I think this would be an incredible place if it wasn't spring break and jam packed full of tents, but I'm excited to check it out. We're 
we're gonna go see if we can check out these goats. There's like 15 of them that just came walking down the hill for their morning swim. So we're gonna see if we can find them. We're gonna dinghy over to the little town that's over here. We ran out of food a little bit, mainly just snacks and breakfast items. So hopefully we can find a tiny market and explore the town. Well, it turned out that we walked into, I think, a gated private community. So we're going to go back in the dinghy and try to find a road to town. Well, this is an adventure. Turned out the stretch of the beach was private residence with gates. So we're now walking down the freeway or the highway, whatever. And there's cars passing, trying to get to a tienda. Well, the food was delicious and we had a successful trip getting groceries. So time to go back to the boat, take a nap because I ate way too much of that food. Well, we decided we are a little tired of all the people on the beach and the noise and the fireworks at night. So we decided to go two miles and have this beautiful anchorage, one other boat here, no people on the beach, no houses and all that good stuff. This is beautiful. This whole area is beautiful, but this is really cool. feels like we're exploring. We're gonna go hit the beach and see what all this place is about. but I think we'll take it, sold. You know, a little bit of elbow grease and this could be our nice house, huh? I like it. We have intelligence that there are hot springs nearby, so we're gonna go search for them, huh? Search for the Hi. hot. Hot, hot. Find hot water, find the hot water pools. Let's find them. Well, it turns out the hot springs are way too hot unless the tide is high and it's mixed with seawater. Unfortunately for us, the tide was in the middle of the night, but don't worry, we still had some dance parties regardless. So the engine hasn't been starting too well and I do not like it. Once it's running, it's fine. When it gets warmed up, it runs totally fine. But that initial cold crank start, it just tends to die a few times before getting going. I'm going to dig some fuel filters out and swap out the fuel filters because I don't think we've done that since we left and we've motored quite a bit. So I want to see if it's just a fuel filter problem, maybe like a pressure problem. So if the fuel filter is clean, we can get the highest amount of pressure for fuel going in and hopefully it'll start better. Deep down in this cave, I've got boat parts. All in here, I got a ton of spares for the boat. In the tote right here, I've got spares for the engine. We pretty much brought three of everything just in case something happens because safety is our number one priority. Oil filter. Fuel filter. Fuel filter. While I'm in here, might as well grab the grease gun and grease up all the steering components because I've been meaning to do this for a little bit, but I have to always dig this toad out. Uh, so now that's out, we'll grease that up well as well while we're here. 
So on the back deck of the boat here, we have access to the back side of the engine and there is my fuel filter. I will turn the fuel inlets off so it doesn't siphon any gas out and I'll get this swapped out as well as the pre-filter on the fuel pump. Look how much sand and grossness gets in here. Blech. Should we clean that while we're here? Probably not. So if you've ever worked on boats, you know that this is how it's usually done. Luckily this one's outside and easily accessible, but it's still pretty much upside down and on my hands and knees. Fuel filter is definitely pretty dirty. I'm gonna get it cleaned out and then swap in the new one. And hopefully that fixes our issue. I'm looking for a container to put that oil in or grease, whatever it is. Diesel. Diesel. I'm hoping for... I don't think the uh, diesel that's in the fuel filter is supposed to look like dark soda. So I'm pretty sure this is our problem. We're gonna get this cleaned up and the new filter on. And we should be good to go. I'm putting it in this uh, juice container. <laughs> All right, job done. We'll see if that helps our starting problem or not. It definitely needed to be switched out. So it's a good thing regardless. And we'll track down the problems as they come. Well, I really wanted to go sailing today and sailing is what we got. So it was blowing like 14, 15 knots. There were some white caps, but that was what the forecast was supposed to be, not too bad. When we got out there, it was 22 to 25 knots. Absolutely ripping. The boat was flying, but it was a little bit uncomfortable. So we didn't need to leave today. Um, so we turned around and sailed back into a different anchorage we haven't been to before. So we're going to explore this place before the wind dies out and then we head about seven miles north to an anchorage to stage ourselves because we're headed another 30 miles north to a whole new town and new adventure. Join us next time as we get in some more fast sailing as we head north and we visit one of the last spots on the Baja side for this season.